Hey there guys, welcome back to this new video. Yeah, so in this video I would like to talk about what is good abstract art and my five top tips. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get right to it. <laughs> Yeah, so if you don't know who I am, my name is Martin Harmon and welcome to Martin Harmon Art TV. This channel is all about sharing my journey as an artist and my passion for all things art. Uh, so you're welcome to join me on this crazy adventure. I'm a British artist based in the UK. I create abstract ceramic sculpture and 2D artworks um, like you can see in here in Curiosity Gallery. Um, so it's all inspired by Stonehenge and Stone Circles in the UK and all driven by curiosity. So what, what can you expect to learn from this video? Well in this video I thought just kind of briefly, I don't want to put too much into it, I just want to keep it really focused and simple so I've got my notes, um, but I just want to keep it focused on what qualifies as good abstract art. And this is all just coming from my own personal experience because, you know, I've been creating abstract art for a while now and, you know, I wouldn't say I'm like, like I know everything and I'm like the master <laughs> and you can just rely on everything I say, but I thought, you know, I just share my experience like, yeah, what is it for me? What, what do I see as, you know, um, being good abstract art and and just to make more people aware of some of these um, some of these qualities to maybe look out for I suppose you could say anyone could create abstract art um, because you know or you, because supposedly all you do is just slap paints on a canvas or just play around with clay and see where it leads but I think there's more to it and there's more kind of um, eye coordination and you know and I think I just want to make let people become aware of this that there is many um, many features that go into creating a good abstract artwork yeah so my first tip on the list is concept I think for me um, personally concept is really important and what do I mean what, what do I mean by a concept uh, concept I mean you know the idea behind the artwork it has some kind of intent you know it's trying to communicate something and and you know and it gets you thinking and you know maybe it changes the way you see things in the world. So that for me is really important. And usually when I go about creating my own artworks, um, I always have this idea in mind, this, this, number one, um, this number one feature is the concept. You know, is to really think about expressing, you know, really dig deep and think about what is it? What is the idea that I want to express? And trying to reveal artworks that express an idea so this is yeah so this is um this is really important for me that you know that uh, helps me to identify what is a good artwork is the idea behind it and how clearly um can i see this idea or does this idea or does this artwork intend to communicate? Is it communicating with me? Number two on my list is the material. So that's another identifier that I use personally um, to, to figure out what is a good artwork. Um, you know, what kind of material has been used? You know, is it, um, is it a high quality material like um, like porcelain or stoneware? Yeah, and then how has this material been transformed? Has that material been uh, properly, you know, harnessed and transformed into, into a thing of beauty? Yeah, and how does the artist use this material to show the characteristic of this material and um, to 
you know, effectively enhance and communicate the idea or the style of that artwork. Number three on my list is depth. And I think depth for me is another really important factor in determining what is a good artwork because for me personally, um, I like to see artworks that have kind of layers to it. You know, kind of, for, for example, if you look at like these sculptures, um, you've got the different kind of layers, the whites and the dots and then the black and then the glaze or like the painting behind me, you've got the newspaper and the paints and the circle. There's lots of kind of layers that create this depth. So you're kind of, uh, you, you're almost like peering into the fabric of this artwork. So for me, yeah, so for me personally, depth is, um, is really important. Number four on my list is size. You know, what makes a good abstract artwork? I don't think size is really an issue. It depends on, you know, what it is, but, um, you know, I think a good abstract artwork can, can take shape in many different sizes, whether it's, you know, really small, <laughs> yeah, really tiny or really huge. Because I think what matters to me is the detail that goes on to that artwork. Um, you know, if it's a small artwork, how much detail uh, can I see in this piece and does it really draw me to it? Or if it's like a large work, large artwork, can this do the same? Can this create a lot of detail which really gets me to examine that piece? Um, so I think, you know, so I, th so I thought it'd be interesting to put that on there because I think for me, a good abstract artwork can take shape in many different sizes. Number five on my list is emotion. And, you know, I think emotion is really important for abstract art because for me, um, emotion, feeling is everything when it comes to abstract art because I believe abstract art is an experience. It, you know, it, for, it, you know, for me, it's meant to take the viewer on a journey. It's meant to let the viewer's mind wander and see new things and experience a new thing and it's not necessarily about seeing something that's that you can recognize uh, like a person or a building it's more of an experience it's more of you know does this artwork does this abstract artwork get you to have an experience whether that could be um, some kind of form of uh, tranquility, peace, um, whether that is some kind of joy, or maybe that is some kind of anger or, or sorrow um, or some kind. If it gets you to feel something, if it connects with you, if it taps into your your subconscious, your brain, and gets you thinking and connects with you, then I feel for me um, that makes a good abstract artwork. So it's all about, yeah, it's just all about the feeling that I feel for me personally. And that's a wrap for this video. I really hope it's kind of opened your eyes to you know, what makes a good abstract art. And I think this is just, you know, this is just my own uh, personal opinion, but I really wanted to just keep this video simple and clear um, from my own perspective to hopefully let you as a viewer understand uh, in, a simple word, in a simple way, you know, what potentially makes a good abstract artwork. But I also recognize that, you know, everyone has their own taste. Everyone see th sees things differently. Everyone sees beauty, sees beauty differently. 
and what might connect to you and be beautiful for you might not be beautiful for me and likewise what might be beautiful for me and connect to me might not work for you. So everyone's got their own different taste and I think maybe beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. And um, you know, and I think that's a good thing. We all have our different um, ideas of what is good art, what is bad art. But I just thought I'd just share with you, like personally, what I consider to be good abstract art. Um, so take it or leave it, really. <laughs> if you've liked this video, I can recommend another video. Um, I think it's called "What Is Abstract Art." So I created a number a number of other videos about abstract art and yeah I'll put the link in the end of this video so you can also watch that to uh, get a bit more understanding if that's something of interest. Yeah so if you've liked this video uh, feel free to um, to like the video, uh, feel free to you know leave a comment um, because maybe you've got your own opinion on what is good abstract art. So it'd be interesting to find out because this is just my opinion. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I don't confess to know everything, so um, I'm just working from my own experience. Yeah, and feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, to be notified about uh, future videos. Yeah, and if you enjoy the content I'm putting out there, you're more than welcome to support me on Patreon. You'll have access to exclusive uh, content that's linked to some of these videos. So anyway, yeah, um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, so stay safe and stay well. Um, so see you later, bye-bye.